Dear friends, I'm back with another machine on the Van Hub, which is DC5. This is the the link to download, which will be added into the description section below, so that you can download it by yourself. Before we move forward, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. This will help me very very much on YouTube robots. So without further ado, let's just get started. I have already imported the image or the machine into the virtual box and started both Kali Linux and the target. So then we can go inside the Kali Linux VM. As you can see, I've already done the MMAP scanning with the UU option like since again, the virtual scan, the default script scan, and use the option of dash p dash to do the comprehensive scan. From the maps scanning, we can tell that the target has several open ports. Of course, this one is the most important one, which is running HTTP surface and also the version information, which is Injex. Yeah, this, this machine doesn't run Apache as usual. So what we are going to do next we need to do the immersion both manually and automatically. Let's launch our browser to do the menu. Maybe I can need to go, need need to cl close down the browser and go to the target. As you can see, we got the page back. As always, we can check the source code of this page, which doesn't reveal anything important. There's some links like solutions about us, fact, contact. However, mm, nothing important for us. So now we go back to our home page, and we can yeah we need to do furthermore immersion with command line utilities like uh, Q, and we can check whether the robot file is available on the target. Yeah, not found. Next, we can use Nigato. Yeah, Nigato can give us the information about the about the version information, the header information, and also the lo not local the exploits we when a when the target has, and also it can email out some files or directories. If of course, although it's built in word list, it's a bit small. However, in this case, we cannot get anything interesting from Ligto. Next, we can use the GoBuster to do the directory immersion. Let me autocomplete this command to fast this process. As you can see, of course, during the menu immersion stage, we have already identified like solutions, the footer. However, this one, thank you. Dot PHP is special one. We can take a look at manually by browser. Thank you. Let's press enter. However, nothing. Thank you for taking taking the time to contact us. And also, if you refresh the page, yeah, we can contact. We can put some information, for example, like J taste. And also taste and the taste. Let's submit. As you can see, this form will be automatically redirect to the thank you.php file. If you refresh this one, at the bottom, you can notice the difference every time you refresh the page. So very, very weird, right? About this point. So maybe also you can check whether this Parameter like a first name and the last name has local file inclusion vulnerability. However, I cannot identify such vulnerability at all. So maybe we need to make a furthermore fuzzing. For example, we can use the uh, Z C specify the URL. Thank you. Dot PHP fast we can check the password file 
and we can use the option of W to specify the word list. Dear Buster, directly, of course, you can use other specific word list. Medium, let's press enter. Yeah, we need to, because there are so many output, so we can use the filter 66. You know, I haven't used, I have used the, this fuzzing tube very, very many. As you can see, very quickly, we can get the parameter of payload, which is a file. Next, we can check manually file. Yeah, we got the content back. And of course, it would be much clearer if you take a look at the source code of this page. We can notice there is one normal user, DC. So next, we can use this LFI vulnerability to exploit this vulnerability right. For example, we can home DC to check whether we can access private key. However, nothing returned. And next, we can check whether we can access lock file like lock os lock. Nothing returned. Next, we can check whether we can access web lock. Of course, this case is inject, so we can inject, inject, and access lock. Nothing returned, right? Very weird. And also, we can check whether we can access error lock. Yeah, we got the the data or content of the error lock. If we go back to the access lock, yeah, nothing. So we, I think we need to utilize the error lock to get our reverse shell. So how to do? And we can error, error, lock. And then we can uh, intercept the, the proxy to Bubba Suite. And then we can launch our Bubba Suite community edition. Next, start. Yeah, we need, we need to make sure the proxy option is on. All right. Next, we can refresh this page. As you can see, we got the, got the request. So how to, for example, maybe we can manipulate this parameter value to PHP system get. CMD and then we can forward oh sorry we need to refresh this page file and uh, PHP PHP system CMD. And then we can forward. Now, if we, of course, we need to disable this proxy and we can pass the CMD ID. We can check whether we can get the ID data. As you can see, we can. Next, we can get the reverse shell by running Python reverse shell command. First of all, we need to set up the listener first. I've already prepared this reverse shell command. Of course, you can get it from the like a pen test monkey or other websites. 
And we can now we just copy and replace this command. And I'm so certain we can get the reversal from the target. Of course, we can spawn the bash session. And now we need to do the local immersion to make lateral movement, right? Or make privilege escalation. So how to do? Maybe we can upload the NIMPRC script. Of course, I've already prepared the NIMPRC script. In order to upload this script, we can set up the web server locally, and then we can use wget followed by the IP address of the Kali Linux, NIMPRC. And then we, in order to run this script, we need to make it executable. And then we can run this here script. You know, this script is so useful for the privilege, privilege escalation because it can go through all possible vectors for us to make, make it happen. For example, like SUID, binary information. Yeah, it's done. And we can scroll up to see whether we can find such a vector. Yeah, SUID. If you yeah, look at the result or this section very closely, yeah, this one, this is the unknown SUID binary. So we can copy. Yeah, has SUID bit on. So next we can use the search, search sprite utility to see whether there is any vulnerability for this version of a screen. So we can use search sprite screen. Yeah, it does have. Next we can copy this script from, the, from this address to current working directory. And we can use the same utility with option of M. All right. So now we can cut out this. You know, this script is a bit uh, complicated. As you can see, we need to yeah, copy yeah, this C code and also this C code and create two files separately, like root shell and also this, this file. We must use the same file name, yeah, this one, and then use this command to compile it, and also this one. Of course, I've already done it earlier, as you can see over here. So now we just, uh, of course, I have compressed all files into this file. So next we can upload this exploit to the target. We can use wget. Exploit. And then we can decompress this file. We can use ta exploit. And then we can make it executable. And then we can run this script. However, yeah, when we when I did the machine the first time, I encounter this problem as well and I cannot uh, sort it out. If you can, please tell me and uh, leave it in the comments section below. Thank you. So that's pretty much it. I'd like to see you in the next one. Bye.